So this load is a one ounce steel load. <clears throat> We're gonna be using a two and three quarter inch Fioki hull. And then a MG42 wad. This is basically made for the AA and other tapered hulls, but we'll show you how to get these to fit in a straight. And then powder is long shot. This is the money. This is where you can find pretty much any, you can find this anywhere. Uh, any local sporting goods store worth its, worth its uh, weight is going to have some of this in stock. Um, and then I've got plated number three seal. And it'll be full crimped. The original load called for buffer. You don't need buffer with steel shot. It's just kind of a waste of a component. It's just an extra step. An extra thing you have to go out and buy and find, and it's just not needed. So we're gonna been messing with that with other stuff. Anyway, we'll put this together. So the original load called for, I believe, 32 grains of long shot. Um, if you want to find this actual load online, look up Dave in Arizona, MG42 steel load, and you scroll all the way to the bottom and it has what he says he would do given the load data he was, you know, all the load data he looked through. He said that 31 is probably where you should settle given the pressures. I'm going to lower it to 30 grains uh, just because I think the original load was like 15, upper 1500 feet per second, lowering it a little bit more. This will put you right at about 1500, upper 1400s, which is plenty for steel. So we're going to do 30 grains. Right, 30 grains in your Fioki hole. And like I said, this MG42 watt is great. It's great for a lot of different things. Buckshot loads, heavy lead loads, like heavy turkey loads and such. Um, bismuth. Um, in this application, it's good for steel. This will hold more or less exactly one ounce of steel shot. So because it's made for a tapered hull, you kind of have to flare it out. And this is a trick that Tyler McDavid kind of shows and what he does. And you basically just take a, a set of pliers and you want to flare out the gas seal so it'll be a good fit it's an extra step but it's really not that big of a deal so we're gonna put that down in there like so this is a 12 gauge wad nudger uh, from Gary Kasky you can look him up on Facebook he's on all of the reloading forums and um, stuff like that. So these are really handy. He makes a whole bunch of different stuff um, Like this for example, I was loading 16 gauge earlier and this is I think the 20 gauge wad slitter He makes a full 16 gauge kit and 10 gauge 12 gauge 20 gauge wad slitters made from essentially Broadheads and such anyway, I won't focus on that right now, but he's got a lot of cool things so Wads in place nice good seal Take your scoop, one ounce, you can either use your scale and put it at one ounce or you can do it by grains, which I like to do. So one ounces or one ounce of shot is 437 grains, they're about 438, close enough. Not a huge deal since we've got a lower powder charge. And there's your shot call. I like these clear holes. Pretty sweet. You can see everything going on in there. Looks pretty good with the plates. Anyway, here we are on the other side of the bench on the mech. Um, I have roll crimp stuff on one side, you know, full crimp stuff on the other. Um, anyway, here I am at the mech. I've got the OMV crimp starter. This came on my, my uh, OMV press, which I think is kind of junk. I think it's a little bit of manufacturing error and operator error, but anyway, here's our load right here. I'm gonna 
give it a trim start. Be careful not to crush the hull. And then I'm going to give it the rib die. This is also from Guype or OMV. It basically puts a almost like a step in the um, in the top of the crimp. Anyway, makes everything nice and tidy when you go over to give it a finish crimp. So I just do it like that. As you can kind of see here, gives it like kind of a cone shaped look there. Anyway, finish it. Could just leave it at that, but I like to make it look. All right, here we are. Sorry for it, the the video cutting in and out. I'm having to like go back and delete stuff and gain space in my phone. But anyway, here we go. Twelve gauge. Skype BN1. Anyway, there it is. One ounce steel. Basically duplicates like a three inch 20 gauge load, you know. Plenty of steel shot. I can't remember the pellet counts, but it's one ounce of threes. So go Google it, I guess. But good for over decoys. Not necessarily a pass shooting load, I wouldn't say, but good overall do all load and guess what it's got stuff that you can find so that's the whole point of this video is uh, this is using components that are readily available you could obviously do once fired and just reprime it with a cheddite or something like that but there you go hopefully you guys liked it and found it informative let me know what you think thanks